Hey everybody, welcome back to Northern Lamb, please. Binding of Isaac Afterbirth. Last run was actually a, a fairly large challenge as Eden, to be honest with you, but we got through it. This one doesn't look much better. Steam Sale and uh, the Blue Hourglass. RF7EALTG. At least you got two damage. One makes you larger. T truth be told, not like a catastrophic uh, pill for us to take there early. Um, is this the run where we finally figure out just what the hell's going on with uh, the blue hourglass? On uh, truth be told, I probably would have been completely okay taking a key out of that room. <laughs> so I guess I guess with broken hourglass, what am I what am I doing here? I never really took the time to think about this item, and honestly, figuring it out on the fly intimidates me. Does it? It's supposed to re-roll rewards, right? No, it's the D7 re-rolls rewards. Broken Hourglass allows you to do the room over again. If you do the room over again, what's what's the point? If you take damage, does it stop you from taking damage? It doesn't seem to re-roll your reward, but truth be told, I could have just gotten admittedly lucky and gotten the same reward twice in a row. Or does it just allow you to preview the future? So, for example, you walk into the room, you don't like it. You use the hourglass and then go in a different direction. I don't really know. I imagine this episode is probably going to be frustrating for the devotees of the uh, of the blue hourglass. Because I often see people like, you need to figure out how to use blue hourglass. It's so much fun. And I'm just like, still... Well, I'll tell you what. Oh, it totally does allow us to get around getting hit. Okay. In that case, uh, I actually understand this now. Is that really... Th that's the simplicity of it? If you get hit, use Broken Hourglass, and you, you just go back and do the room again and don't get hit, that's completely fine by me. That is actually incredibly useful. It's like a, an active Holy Mantle. And don't even start with the, yeah, that's what we've been trying to tell you forever. Okay, I get it. Sometimes I can be a little stubborn, but everybody's stubborn in their own way. You know, everybody had that kid at their... Uh, at their school that just refused to watch Harry Potter or read Harry Potter because they were like, I don't think it's going to be good. Even though everybody told him it was good. I don't think I'm doing that room right now. <laughs> Let's go back and try to find our item room. Uh, this being said, th there may be a case to replace this item at some point. But uh, for now, I'm actually really stoked to have it. This is a cool, uh, cool functionality that I'd never considered before. I guess the thing is you have to have a charge for it to prevent you from taking damage. So... You know, you, you got to use it accordingly, but... Or sparingly, perhaps. Eve's bird foot is pretty not good, but... Life goes on. And here's our shop and item room. Unlikely to make anything good happen on our on our shop. It would actually be... Sometimes I think it would be really nice if you could fight Greed on the first floor. Even though he's probably like a little bit... Oh, I'll take it because I'm an idiot. Um, even though it's probably uh, a situation where he's just like tanky and annoying... At least you could get, like, an early Steam sale or an early, like, amount of cash money. And, uh, start your economy a little faster. It seems like a cool risk-reward. When I get the, my hands on Afterbirth Plus, that's the first thing I'm gonna do. But you know what? I actually have been thinking seriously about, um... Well, semi-seriously about mods that I would make for, uh... For Afterbirth Plus. And I think... I would work... Well, it's, it's a hypothetical, like, perfect world scenario right now. Obviously, there's a lot of, like, little things, like, hey, you know, buff Necronomicon or something like that. But I'm more interested in, like, um, creating, like, an actual hard, hard mode that is balanced in a way that is not really annoying, if that makes sense. Like, I would really like it if there was an insane mode in Afterbirth, because, you know, selfishly, my popularity improves when people think I have a risk of dying on episodes, and, you know, when you're popping off... Even, like, ten wins in a row on a regular basis, that, that kind of uh, danger doesn't seem to exist. But then when the um, Eternal Edition of Vanilla Isaac came out, it was hard, but it was hard in a way that was just, like, annoying. So I think it, it's actually, like, a very serious design challenge that, if I'm being honest, I don't have the, the chops necessary to probably... I'm not going to re-roll this, cause we're, or, like, redo this, because we're close to the end regardless, but uh, I don't know if I have the, the game design chops to do it because I've never experienced or I, I've never had any experience in game design, but at least I've played enough of this game to have some ideas of what I do for what I would do for an insane mode. Don't expect that to ever come out and certainly don't expect it to come out like the day that Afterbirth Plus is out or anything like that, but I think that's like my dream mod is, uh, is a mod that makes 
rebirth afterbirth more difficult for experienced players who are interested in in doing it um you know i don't, I don't think everybody should be subjected to the to that in increased difficulty but uh i think for for people like myself you know, I, I would rather have each run be kind of a unit that is engaging as opposed to just like a streak where you're like, okay, well, one bad run will spoil the streak eventually. I can't hit you. Um, can't hit you, so tell you what. <laughs> We're gonna leave. Um, yeah, that that's my dream mod. And if I don't make it, I hope somebody else does. Okay, I'm gonna get hit here. Yeah, um, Dunce Cap, I mean, it's a bad choice, right? I shouldn't have taken it. But I also think that it's it's kind of a cool choice and could lead to some... Some fun stuff down the road for us. And on rooms like this where there's a lot of enemies that are pretty weak, I think it's actually relatively positive because, uh, you know, we'll be able to hit more of them at the same time. So for all the joking I do about Afterbirth Plus modding, uh, I do I do intend to, uh, to experiment with it at least a little bit. And if you haven't watched the earlier episodes, it's not a joke. This is not a drill. That's some good shit right here, right here. Actually... And, and what I would consider at this point to be maybe a slightly above novice level programmer when it comes to object oriented programming stuff, which is, uh, you know, the, the, the framework within which Lua, which is the language that Isaac is scripted in, um, functions. So uh, I, I may have the chops to technically make it happen, whether I actually have the game design experience to, uh, or the game design preternatural talent, I guess, because I have no experience. Uh, to balance it properly remains to be seen, but I'm I'm also hesitant about making mods because it's such like a I, you owe like a debt to the community when you make a mod, and that sounds like I'm I'm being sarcastic, but I'm not. Like if you make a mod that a lot of people like, and then you just don't update it for a while in response to feedback, people are gonna be like, "Yo, what the fuck, dude?" But I I kind of just want to make it and not have that obligation, but I don't think that that is a realistic expectation. So. You know, I guess that's something I'll have to consider as time goes on. Um, poop is, like, really not the item I was hoping for here. Uh, you know what? As much as I I like Tear Detonator here, I will admit, oh, I totally should have gone to the shop on the last floor, you dummy! Sorry, I like bl uh, broken or Blue Hourglass is what I mean to say, but I think Tear Detonator might be better for us from uh, crushing enemies and seeing them driven us before us kind of standpoint just because we have dunce cap yeah it's it's pretty good and it's still novel we don't use the item very often um and i think that with dunce cap this could be could be worth its weight in chicken nuggets you know that was incredibly stupid we should go back and play that demon judgment soon as well but ah uh, there's a tinted rock there okay kill monstro that didn't really do as much damage as i was hoping that it would um, it is possible that taking Blue Hourglass, uh, or dropping Blue Hourglass may compromise our ability to win this run. And you know what? Those are the kind of decisions that I want to have happen more. Like, if in making a, a mod that balances the difficulty for, like, really, really experienced players. Which, even though I make mistakes in Isaac all the time, you know, I think it's telling that I, I'm a very imperfect player, but at the same time have pretty good results. Um, I think another difficulty level up is something that would really extend the longevity and kind of the, the sense of danger in the game. Um, I want more tough decisions like that. I want less decisions that are like, you know, th this item is clearly better than this item. We already know that, or at least many people already know that if they've played enough. I want to I wanna take it to the next level. Okay, we're definitely taking all these, which means we should have not taken the HP, but we do want to kill ourselves here regardless. Uh, to come back as Jark Dudas, so I think we're actually going to try to kill ourselves on the Demon Judgment, and the ideal outcome here would be like getting Sin Robes or something out of it, because we, we need the damage. I mean, I need the HP too, but I need the damage as well. Um, probably more so, I hope at least more so, so we're going to go hard on this. I forgot we had old bandage, so we're not really doing ourselves any favors in getting a bunch of red hearts here. Oh, but the black heart? Where did that come from? Either way, I like it. So we'll play this once. Get ourselves killed. We got another black heart out of it. Why are we getting these black hearts? Oh, monkey's paw! Yo, that is actually pretty dope. Uh, take experimental treatment, which I think is actually pretty good for us. Did give us HP. Didn't seem to compromise our stats. Then we got our black hearts. We got one makes you larger again. Play this joker once. 
Uh, let's take our nine cents and try to get this judgment to pay out with some more HP, which would make me feel real good about our situation. You paid out with a bum friend, which I think is pretty bad, but not necessarily horrible. Now, give me a bomb. Yeah, this is exactly what I'm looking for. Ah! All right, well, forget it. I was going to say we'll go look for a bomb. Maybe we'll just come into this room and see if there's anything. Nope, okay. Um, because there is a tinted rock that we could take advantage of, but you know, eh, at this point, maybe Eve's bird foot is better than a monkey's paw that's almost completely depleted. But uh, yeah, I'm I'm for this. I think this is a good situation. Um, maybe we can buy a bomb. We can buy a bomb for three cents, and I want to get small rock here. Spirit arts would be fine, but I want to get small rock. I, but I gotta say, I'm really impressed. We've really uh, we've we've made this run work for us. I mean, technically, here's what you should do. Bomb this. And I was going to say so we could get the penny, but bum friend just got it anyway. But sure, that was still the right thing to do in principle. Got a key and a spirit heart. Life goes on. All right. Down to the next floor. Nine minutes in. So, uh, you know, a little bit of a... Uh... Oh, a little bit taken forever. Your Skype has stopped working. Out of memory. Well, yeah, that's what happens when you come out with an application that has a disgusting amount of memory leak. I'm not saying I could do it any better. I'm just saying... I, I'm starting to agree with the masses here after a long period of deliberation that Skype is uh, hot trash. I mean, it is free and it's been functional for a long time. Keep, keeps families together, helps long distance relationships. Sure, you, you know, you, this country owes you a great debt. Now shut the fuck up and let me do my job. One of these days, I'm going to actually land the shot. Yo, you know, you don't get any more of this money yet, bum friend. If you play your cards right... You'll get all my money in the late game, but for now, you're just pissing me off. There we go. That's enough money to feel good. Now we got no keys, but that's okay. I'm thinking that the more damage you pick up, increasingly, Tear Detonator is going to look like a solid choice. Right now, it's still like a little... I'm sure there's people that are going to be like, why would you take Tear Detonator? You had a good thing going. You basically were immune to damage as long as you didn't get hit on two consecutive rooms. That's going to take care of like 80% of the damage you'd ever take on the whole run. Yeah, but I really like dealing damage. Like, a lot. And this is... I mean, compared to where we were on the first floor, this is a, a much better damage situation. And I actually think that we may be able to craft a situation here in which, in which Dunce Cap is a good choice. Um, we're not quite there yet, but... I think we could get there, reasonably speaking, relatively easily. It just sucks that our shots go, like, off the map before they can do anything, but, I mean, that's kind of what we signed up for <laughs> when we took Dunce Cap, I guess, so can't really uh, fault the game for my own decision-making process there. That was bad damage. Ooh, that is super shitty. Here you go. Blow this up. It didn't get anything out of it, but we're going to get a spirit heart at the end. Again, say it with me one more time. It's my money. Break both of these. Then these guys die in one hit. Two hits? That's that's not an encouraging sign. <laughs> I mean, one of them is a champion, but still. Oh, my God. You're lucky you paid out with a bomb, mister. There we go. Oh, I didn't know that you spawned something, but I should have assumed... But you know what happens when you assume uh, you make an ass out of Sue and me. That's not how that works. It, from a linguistic perspective, that joke doesn't even make sense. Oh, Tinted Rock. Okay. Come back up here. What are my must-have items for the spring collection? Piercing shots help out a great deal. Homing shots would be nice. Uh, almost any tier effect and almost any damage upgrade. We're reaching a point in which... Uh, Things are starting to get a little scary. D10 is is bad. This whole run is like basically made right now uh, to tailor made, I should say. Tim the Toolman tailor made to help me experience space bar items that I wrote off for a long time. I wrote off blue hourglass. Check it out. Here's your blue hourglass run, motherfucker. Wrote off uh, D10. Well, I will continue to write off the D10 because it's bad, in my opinion. Um, in most situations, at least. Ro uh, kill him! I really thought that we would be able to do some sweet guppies hairball action there and get ourselves out of that, but that's okay. That's so okay. Okay, 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 okay. Don't be so bad. 
It really sucks when there's an enemy directly in front of us. There we go. Guppy's hairball actually becomes semi-viable as a result of my own idiocy. Habit. Pretty good. Pay to play. T totally fine. We will buy... Oh, I meant to put down a bomb. We'll buy the spirit heart. We got a lot of money back. I'm not buying anything else for now. This is going to be a long one here. But we're done with this floor. I mean, we have to fight the boss still, which could be a little bit challenging. But apart from that, I'm ready. If we could become Guppy, that would be a nice start. That would work well with Tear Detonator. Safety cap. And it's probably better than Eve's Birdfoot. Okay, it's actually going to give us a cube of meat, which I am also kind of okay with. It's a weird situation. Oh, that was dumb. Uh, it's a weird situation because I actually, like, am actively trying to miss with my tears so that Tear Detonator does more work when I use it. And I, I think that might be an example of doing the cute play instead of the smart play. No deal with the devil, which is pretty bad for business. We'll head down to the next floor with our cube of meat that at least allows us to hit enemies. Uh, and yeah, you know what? Why not do a boss trap room? Uh, that's a good reason right there. We could use two of spades for it, but it's kind of a... A little bit of an ask. So that is my dream situation right there. What just happened there is what I want to have happen in the future. Um, but it it didn't work for us in most situations. What about that? Eh. Sort of. Sort of working. Yo. Get out of here with your creep. I don't know, man. Kind of a, a tight squeeze there, but we fit through. Uh, I think our... You know, I've been talking about how sometimes time is our friend, sometimes time is our enemy. Time is our enemy right now. Um, but in some ways, at least we have enough space left in the game to have a chance to recover. But for now, you know, we're, we're losing more HP than we're gaining. And I think that's really what defines whether it's friendly or unfriendly. Okay, Magic Mush is awesome. I also realized that we can get into that room without using two of spades because of the fact that we have pay to play. So... A little bit silly on my part to to waste the HP there, but or waste the waste the key, I should say. Um, but Magic Mush is enormous. Also, I was thinking, you know what would be a great tier effect for us? Rubber Cement. So instead of our shots going off screen, they'd actually just bounce off the wall and then come back and kick the shit out of uh, Gertie. Now I'm I'm gonna do something. Probably shouldn't do. I'm gonna break them off a little piece of the remix. I can't really see where my cube of meat is, but I'm going to try to get in there, even though it's extremely aggressive. And yeah, we, we took a little damage, which I'm not pleased with, but I don't think it was a horrible decision. Matchbook for the, the heart is at least okay, and we get the bombs back. Please, God, more damage or something. Okay, guppy items? Pandora's box! Well, Flooded Caves 2 at least gives us an item and some spirit hearts, so we got to... Uh, Pajamas, the PJs. Could be worse. Uh, I think I'd I'd be very silly if I didn't at least look for our shop. And if we look for our shop, we should find it. I mean, it's not my first rodeo. We're s I, I can feel it. We're so close to being in a position where this run could be one-ish. Oh man, chaos. Let's take it and get real freaky. Judgment. I'm gonna blow you up. Sorry. Should have put Wheel of Fortune down next to you. Um, do that. Okay. I mean, we should let Bum Friend get all this money. But I'm not gonna walk him into the middle of the room. You know, if he's not if he's not willing to take the effort himself, then that's that. Chaos is certainly gonna make things interesting on this run, but I'm really, like, I'm feeling like we're so close to having a run where we just hit spacebar and everything on the room dies. But it does take, or it has taken at least a while for us to get there. Ooh, yeah, Holy Light combined with Tear Detonator feels like a good start. I say good start even though we're, you know... Hopefully approaching a third of the way or halfway through the episode. I need a one makes you smaller pill so I can actually see where the fuck my orbital is. I can see uh, Guppy's hairball, but ball of bandages just disappears in the in the miasma of my personage. So I think the way it works is that 
Holy Light Shots when detonated, because they become new tiers, and those new tiers each have a chance to become Holy Light. But also, from like regular tiers that have no tier effect associated with them, those can become Holy Light as well. So, uh, I think you get basically, especially if a tier is not special, you get six extra chances at it to become special as a result of the, the Holy Light tier detonation. You're starting to see it, I could tell. There were skeptics out there. Which is fine, skepticism is healthy, but uh, now you're starting to see the, the wisdom of the dunce cap play here. It is the wisdom of the dunce. Anything? Yeah, red heart, okay. Rib of greed. You know what? I actually think that that's probably okay for us here. Because we were, um, you know, again, we're running out of time, but we got a decent amount of money. It would be nice to not fight greed, because we can probably buy two items from our shops regardless, and our shops could have any item as a result of chaos. Mmm, big whiff on that one. Should not have uh, used that in that situation. Hagalas. Mostly at this point, I think it's just about landing, like, one holy light shot whenever possible. Just getting, like, dunce cap on him so that a holy light shot can actually hit and not worrying too much about orbital damage but you know the more the more you love it the more you you glove it rotten baby really good actually and also mercifully a way to deal damage that doesn't require me to actually aim my shots so i'm pretty into this idea boss rush definitely out of the question right now i actually am really happy with the way the last two runs have gone because I've been complaining, and I think rightfully so, about... Oh, what? Okay, here's what I'm... What is going on here? I guess we're not getting that other chest. Uh, that was weird. This was a Hagala's rune? I mean, we should use it, but... I've been complaining, and I think to some extent rightfully so, about runs being a little easy for us over the past little bit, and... Uh, this one is definitely gone. I wouldn't say, oh my god, what a whiff. Like, completely in the other direction. It's not impossible, and it actually would probably be really nice if we just hadn't taken Dunce Cap. We would have, like, no, uh, or relatively little risk associated with it. But, uh, I'm happy we've done this and, and made our run a little tougher. I think it's made things more, more exciting. And this is, this is what I endeavor to find in my Isaac runs. When it works, it works, man. Death's Touch would be so huge for us, and we could really get it anywhere, so... Like, we could just get it on this shop right here. I'm going to predict that we get Mom's Heals on this shop, though. No, I was wrong. Sometimes you're gonna be right in that situation, though, and you're gonna look like a goddamn genius. Uh, regular Judgment, I'm gonna blow you up. No, I have no bombs. Now I'm gonna blow you up. But we're not going to get... Hey! We're not gonna get the, uh... Uh, mom's coin purse because I think the pills are not what I'm looking for there. Unless that pill turns out to be amazing. Then we may change our tune a little bit. So really the star of the show until we get a little stronger in the idea or in the area that I planned on was uh, oh my god, Explosivo too. Is uh, Rotten Baby combined with Holy Light. But hopefully now Explosivo actually works amazingly for us too. Used, well, at least the bomb got us something. We got in to get a, uh, a rune here. Uh, Explosivo scares the shit out of me, but is also awesome. I mean, the more tier effects we can stack up with uh, with tier detonator, the better it is probably. Bracano, two Bracanos is good. If we could just get infinite Bracanos in this room and then like one rune that's worth taking, then that's awesome. They hate us because they Onsus. Onsus is worth taking, uh, I think, for the next floor. And apart from that, I think we're just done with this one. Dank Depths 1. Yes, yes, that is the name of this floor. Now, why, why did you mention it? And I think we'll just pop it immediately. Ah, maybe we won't. Because we have no reason to get the boss rush. Cause we have no chance to get the boss rush, really. Um, it might not provide us with really that much benefit at all. But I'm going to do it anyway. Curse of the Blind. Okay, Curse Room is down here. Yeah, we got to go to all corners of this map anyway, but... I'm not going to lose any sleep over whether or not I used an Ansu's rune correctly. No bombs. No bombs, but the relic, which is really good. 
Bad trip. Oh my god, you gave us the wrong one, man! We should have used explosive diarrhea in the room. Oh well. Well, we had a, a holy light shot there that was also explosivo, which is awesome. Yo, we're starting to build this one. There's been an awakening. Have you felt it? Puberty, not not horrible. Range up is fine. What makes you larger is the exact opposite of what we need right now. Can't get in there yet, but I got I got high hopes for the future. Did you see that explosivo shot get stuck? That was awesome. It was like on one enemy, pivoted to the other enemy. In spite of the fact that uh, I, I would think the odds of that are pretty low. Uh, forever alone, attack fly. If nothing else, at least it's a Beelzebub uh, enabler. But it's not incredible. But uh, you can do a lot worse on Curse of the Blind, that's for sure. I don't know if Rotten Baby counts. I'm going to assume that Rotten Baby does not count as a... Uh, as a Beelzebub enabler. Really, at that point, that it's mostly just giving us the ability to fly, but it's, it's worth something. Ultra Pride for the left hand. Well, we don't really need Rib of Greed past this floor, so we probably take the left hand uh, after we go to the shop. Make sure we get something in there, because again, with Chaos, really, the shop is probably better than an item room as long as you've got the money necessary to make it work. Oh, the relic is going to be so nice. Probably shouldn't have stayed in there, but had confidence my orbital had my back. Got hit my, by my own explosivo shot, which is fair, given how much it's helped me, I guess, and the fact that I totally could have gotten out of the way. Butt bombs. That's pretty good in conjunction with explosivo, I suppose. Okay, give me a joker. Two of clubs. That's also pretty good. I think we'll use that. And then take our world card down to the next floor, because I used Ansu's here. Then we take the left hand, um, in the hopes that it gives us a better chance to get items. It doesn't have to be red chest items. If Chaos wants to spread it out and make it multiple kinds of items, that's fine by me. This is like where our last run was finished, which is funny, because we're only on Depths 1. But I'm still, I'm holding out hope, man. We're getting there. Wow, that was like super not worth it. I really, I don't know why I expected after putting in the work there, we'd get, uh, we'd get something awesome. I guess I wanted to assume that we lived in a fair and just world where a man is judged by the sweat of his brow, um, but uh, apparently not. You know what? I've actually realized that Explosivo combined with Holy Light is, well, like, having the chance to get either or is awesome. Every tier that gets both is actually bad because the Holy Light shot doesn't work immediately. So, like, it, it just sticks and is blue. Die, ba dee, die, die. But... It is nice to stick three explosive shots onto an enemy. I can't deny that. Well, let's go fight Mom. Um, we do have uh, well, a pretty good chance, I'd say, to get through that fight without taking very much damage thanks to the, our orbitals. Um, but we're still, like, we're lacking a little bit aggressively here. But I do think that we've probably entered, like, a winnable position here. Not one, but winnable. Puberty is whatever. Range up is okay. Maybe even good for us, honestly. Telepills would allow us to get out of Boss Rush if we still had that capability, but sadly, uh, roughly 26 minutes ago, that train sailed, so... Okay, left hand fucked me again a little. I think that was probably the worst tier de detonator I've ever used. I tried to use it, like, right next to the uh, boss, which is a, a horrible idea. That was... Again, a little overly risky there. How about that? That should do it. That should do it. There, that's what I meant to say. Okay, take the Polaroid. Um, take them both. Wooden nickel. Terrible choice. Little chest. Possibly okay. At least we have permanent Polaroid invincibility now, but... Uh, sure, that, I think it's fair to say that that deal with the devil didn't work out that amazingly for us. Curse of the Labyrinth is a great uh, room to use this on. I think we will probably not go to our curse room just because it's so far away that I think it's uh, it's unlikely to be worthwhile. Luck up is good. We may end up needing more chests on the chest. So we got one more chance to deal with the devil. It's a pretty low chance. At least we don't have Curse of the Blind on this floor for the first time in 25 years. But uh, 
I don't know. I, I don't really love our odds of getting a lot better on this floor, but it, it can certainly happen. Anything can happen with chaos, basically. Excuse me. See, that's... I mean, the shots look beautiful, but I'm not sure they're really getting the job done for us here. Mmm... I'm gonna have a hard time thinking that this room is worthwhile. I, oh, with our luck stack cranked so high, I think we're getting a ton of uh, extra explosivo and holy light shots. Unless that's just anecdotal, but I mean, look at that—we're we're hitting with some regularity here. The hilarious—it's not even really ironic, but. Uh, surprising thing here is that we probably will have a chance to fight Hush, but this is not the right circumstances for a Hush fight to happen. It's not nearly good enough. We'll go back for that Spirit Heart. Hold your horses. Don't don't sweat it. It's a sh I should have picked up the Spirit Heart first, because if I'd picked up the Spirit Heart first, I um, could have just bombed my way through this room and not had to deal with it, which would have been much nicer for me personally, because there's no reason for us to be fighting this room. Full of annoying enemies, constantly resetting my explosivo shots by becoming new enemies. Probably the last guy here. Excuse me? Our damage is actually getting good enough that... Nah. Uh, getting good enough that I'm, like, happy. We have dunce cap? Maybe not happy, but contented. We'll go back for that as well. Bad habit to walk out of that room. Um, before we finish it, but most of the time it ends up not mattering. God damn it. Okay, hopefully we got a good read on a deal with the devil here, and the deal with the devil is not as garbage as our last one was. That's my dream. It's actually a good boss to fight with Dunscap, because only like one of his attacks attacks on the diagonals, and we're not precluded from hitting him by uh, having that creep next to us, so just stack up as many holy light shots as you can. That was so stupid. When I say stupid, I mean I was stupid there, not the game. We get the map. Um, could be worse, actually. I, I kind of said it with a little bit of cynicism in my voice, but truth be told, the map is like a, a pretty good item even into the late game. As long as we, you know, don't just keep amassing world cards and Ansu's runes on every floor like we have so far. Okay, get in there. You got permanent Polaroid invincibility. That was really good. Unfortunately, I have to stand here to dodge, so we're not going to be hitting with Dunce Cap much, but Explosivo got the job done. We did get a deal with the Devil, and the deal with the Devil gives us a uh, friend zone, which I took because I'm an idiot, but also to try to get Beelzebub enabled. So, I mean, it's a pretty large cost, three Spirit Hearts for an item that's not actually any good, in my opinion, but uh, I... I still think if we can get the ability to fly, it's worth it. Plus, we have the relic, so I'm not sweating it too much. And, of course, the map is worthless for us on this floor. Um, fair to say that that last floor didn't quite live up to my expectations, I'd say. Now we know for sure, also, that Rotten Baby is not a Beelzebub enabler. Which is probably a lesson I've learned, like, 30 times. But, you know, what's, what's 31, man? What's one got to do? Got to do with it. It was more of a Michael Jackson than a Tina Turner, but the, the, the real crux of it is that both impressions were really bad. Uh, I should drop the left hand on this floor. In fact, let's just do that now so I don't forget. Usually I'd try to play up the absurdity, and if we forget, we forget, but on this one, it's, uh, it's, it's close enough to be dangerous, so I don't want that to be the difference between life and death. Yeah, that was not great damage on my part. But permanent Polaroid invincibility is very, very nice for us here. I think as long as we live through this floor, we have a, a realistic line to, to win the game. Um, a realistic path, maybe you should say. But I, I can't say for certain, of course. But I think it's it's conceivable. This will ruin permanent polar invincibility, but maybe raw HP is just more valuable for us right now. Um, or we could find a, a blood bank or something. I, I don't know. We'll see. Maybe I fucked it up. Now we have no idea where we are. I gotta say, the attack fly is actually working out better than I thought it would on its own merits. Anything that actually, like, reliably hits an enemy is good for us, I suppose. Wow, that was really good. Joker? Two of diamonds. What a waste. 
That was just horrible. I got no idea where we are, man. I also have no idea where Ball of Bandages is. Yeah, I guess I should let you take all this. This could be the right way. Like I almost royally fucked that one up. I don't know. I'm kind of I'm silent now because I'm a little scared. But two spirit arts there is big. I don't think I'm going to do that room right there. I think that's uh, maybe a little bit foolhardy. I kind of want to play this guy at this point, but I'm going to avoid it for now. There's a tinted rock. Small rock would still be so huge. But we're not we're not there yet. Oh, that was bad. I really thought we we had a. a Pretty easy path to escape there that I fucked up. Ansus, really good for the chest if we can if we can make it happen. Take the money, take the money. You gotta give me a crumpled up piece of paper. As honestly, you just gave me a little bit of garbage. It's an incredible sign of disrespect. Oh come on! <laughs> now it's a curse room. I don't really want to go to the curse room. I don't really not want to go to the curse room. I mean, what I'm trying to say is I really want to go to the curse room. This run's starting to get... It's not quite like train wreck uh, length of time yet, but it's train wreck mentality where like I, I'm trying to kill enemies, but the enemies don't want to die. Usually they, they want to join me in my quest. This, it, it feels like we're getting closer to the middle of the map now. But we're gaining a ton of HP in the process. Lots of Tinted Rocks. I mean, that's, again, a super good opportunity to have Bum Friend pick this up. But I kind of want him to, like, pick up the money and then go down to the next floor and have a chance to drop chests. I mean, what do I care if you give me some more consumables? Even Spirit Arts were stacked on right now. If you could give me any kind of damage upgrade, I'd stop being uh, semi-negative about it. But your odds of that are pretty freaking low right now. Okay, we were going the right way, which is actually awesome for us. Uh, we're at full HP, which is even better. Stack up as many shots as is possible. We can stand on the diagonal, and actually, weirdly enough, we're totally safe there. Holy shit, I can't believe that we did not get hit for as long as we avoided getting hit there. Probably shouldn't just... Uh Except that we're going to take some more damage here. Let's try to beat him without getting hit. And then again, we've got Ansu's for the chest. I think the chest rooms are going to be real freaking nasty. Um, but we might get lucky enough to actually pull out a victory here against... Uh, I wouldn't even say against all odds, but against some odds. One Holy Light Shot probably would have finished it there, but instead we got exclusively Explosivo. No Curse of the Lost. It's one of very many things I've asked for. Perfect vision. Saves us a couple dead ends, at least. Scorpio's alright. Head of the Keeper is good for the bum friend, I guess. Remote Detonator is is not really good. And uh, Curse of the Maze Pill. Pretty disappointed with as well. But, have we gotten any luck upgrades at all? I think maybe. <laughs> we might be able to uh, to have a, have a line of getting some chests here. I hope. But I still, like, even with 12 HP, I'm like, we can't, uh, we can't afford the kind of ease off the gas pedal here yet. But, okay, you know what, Scorpio, even though Poison is, like, probably one of the weakest tier effects, it's nice that it's a guaranteed thing. So that we, uh, you know, we know we're always going to have Poison damage here. We can skip a room. I mean, do I really want to take breakfast here? I guess... If we'll, we'll take it going into our final room, uh, if if we don't have a spirit heart taking that spot instead. Okay, looks like we possibly will have a spirit heart taking that spot instead. Uh, you're not supposed to ride the lightning that close to the Gertie Juniors, but we made it happen regardless. I don't dislike this room. There there are worse long rooms on the chest. I really.
really hate when enemies teleport or, like, duck under so that we can't actually get the Explosivo shots to fire. But that's not a, uh, that's not a foible that's unique to this run. Mom's heals. It's like our 19th range upgrade. Which, again, might not even be that bad. Right, no permanent Polaroid invincibility anymore. Although, we got hit three times there and got invincibility. Oh, because I bought Celtic Cross. Yo, that actually was a surprisingly astute purchase. Chest. Judas's tongue. A red heart. Mmm. Not my favorite room. Lots of dodging to be done here. Okay. <laughs> no, nothing much more to say than, uh, than okay on that one. We probably should have been hit. Getting bounced around, man. How's our HP? It's honestly pretty good. I think we're going to come out of this and be alive. An Eternal Heart actually does help us. Honestly, I think we could probably just tank the damage by standing uh, close enough to use our Cuba Bean and our Attack Flies, which is probably what I'm going to do. But if it all goes... Oh, Curse of the Maze. If it all goes terribly, terribly wrong, I'm not going to be thrilled. Oh, I broke the Explosivo shots that were already on top of that enemy. But we got a Spirit Heart out of it, so, you know... Surprisingly positive. Oh, our rooms are getting rearranged like crazy here. Yeah, I think we're going to make this one work. And again, we didn't have to play amazingly. I think we we just played uh, okay for the most part, but... It's, it's more than enough to get the job done, apparently. Okay, back it up a little bit. We're taking some, some damage I'm not thrilled with. Now get back in there, because he's super dead. Lovely. I hope you enjoyed it. I did. That was a little thrilling. If you did, click the like button. It helps out a great deal. Of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. For now, thanks for watching, and I will see you next time.